Okay, so I hope there was nobody waiting on me because I'm running just a little late, but oh well. <sighs> this is all new to me. So, here we go. Um, brainstorming session starting, starting with, I guess, the third one or whatever. Okay, so let's see. I'm working on the cards for the companies. There's going to be three color companies at least, maybe four color companies. Originally, I only thought three. We'll see. Um, the companies are going to have starting locations, and these locations aren't going to be available to the player. Basically, what's going to happen is at the start, I'll figure out how a board's going to go out. We'll shuffle the red cards. Let's say if the red company and the blue company, if the blue company's in, and let's say there's a green company, we'll shuffle up each set of cards and then deal. Okay, one red card. This is where the red company starts, and this is the truck that it starts with. And the same thing goes for each company. So it'll allow for a variable start. Um, so this is what the. I had a little bit of an echo because I had my regular speakers going. Okay, I think I fixed it. All right, cool. So we're going to make the same thing. This is going to be, this is the red start stock. We'll just write the word red. I don't think we need to. Well, just in case, write the word red. Actually, we want it the same size. So let's just do that and we'll write red. Just in case, I guess later on we'll have it on there in case there's color blind people, they'll have at least the color of the card written on there. And we'll make these the blue company for now. Doo -doo -doo, blue. Change that to blue. Change that to blue. Oops. Change that to blue. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Next, we're going to go ahead and fix icons on this thing the concept is these companies are already in the game so the stock will be available and I guess it it really doesn't have to be stock that's just for not having a good turn basically there are chances to invest in these companies Let's see if I can fix those to be blue. Mm. It's not very visible, so we're going to change the tone of the cylinders on here, the tokens. That's good enough for a it's good enough for a demo. Blue, and then let's actually make it blue. Cool. All right. So we've got our set of cards. Um, I started originally with three company, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll have three companies. We'll go ahead and we'll do a purple company. So we'll need a, a purple set of cards. And then we'll think about how we want to do, um, like there'll be an amount of stock that's available. We'll see how we're gonna make these companies show that the, the company, I mean, the company improves whenever more stock is out or more trucks are available. We'll figure out that in a moment. and. It's only a placeholder. All these rules that I'm coming up with, and the reason why I'm recording it is so that 
I can go back and, and remember why. Plus, uh, I just thought it would be interesting to show what this is like for me to design a game. So I just make up a bunch of rules and I don't expect them to stick. I don't expect them to be good rules. I just need something there. Otherwise, I keep asking the question, like on the first brainstorming session, I was asking Lyndon questions like, um, like, is this the way this would work? Or is this the way this would work? I need to have answers to those, but they don't need to be answers that are set in stone. They're only answers for a quick playthrough to see how it works and then work out something better. There's invariably something going to be better, but it's not really fun just to put it out on the table and say, okay, let's make up rules as we go along. You have to start from somewhere, and this is going on intuition as well as um, I guess experience of playing other games. And not necessarily to copy it, because a lot of the times it's like, well, this is the way I've always seen it, so let's not do it that way. So it's really, let's just come up with some rules. Uh, I want to come up with something that's always original, so most of the times it, it's going to be, uh, let's do this because I haven't seen it before. I've never seen it implemented in a board game, so I'm using, like if you watch the other two videos, I'm using... Auto pets as a place to start for just the action draft section and how the cards go off. Um, it's going to change. It's not going to be good enough. But I haven't seen a card, a board game start from there or have something similar to that. So here we go. We are trying it. Okay, so these are the three companies. Let's go ahead and make. Um, these are contracts, so I'm going to make purple contracts real quick and think about how we are going to implement the idea that when multiple stock cards are out, it changes the way a company works. I'm going to pull out a chat window in case... I want to chat with myself. Okay, cool. So let me go here. Is this the same? It's not the same, but it is. So we're going to change these gradients to the same. And we're going to make them purple. Because these are purple contracts. Purple contracts need to be in the color of the card. Cool, purple contracts. Okay, so what I was thinking is this con one contracts out it allow you to buy a card oh well that kind of changes things so if this gives you the w so these are going to be worth two so we'll allow you to have up to hmm So let me speak about this out loud and maybe it'll make sense. A stock card will allow you to have access to vehicles. So if the stock card has two cubes on it, it'll allow you to have two vehicles. Um, that brings an interesting thing. So let's say these stock cards are valued at two and we let's just say for the sake of argument two means the amount of boxes a car can have so this one will allow you to have so um, this red one basically because it has uh, the two truck and the one truck available uh, quick recap these numbers are the trucks so this is truck one truck two truck four truck three here's truck one, here's truck seven, you know, and so on. So these are the red ones. So when I'm looking at truck one, that's that one. So this stock card will give you access to truck one and truck two for starting places. 
I need to learn how I need to figure out how to make the third stock card make sense so we're basically saying this stock card has less stock hmm how can we do that because this I made up a rule and it's I'm already countering myself with that rule so let's figure this out we could do um, that the company can do something with uh, hmm okay so here we go so let's say each one of these cost a cube so each contract cost a cube and also we'll have a price for the let's do it this way let me get this and go over here I made a copy of it I'm gonna play with some ideas here let's say this is like so and then this is like so mm, uh oh let's put them let me align them okay this right here is trash don't need it so here's the idea oh let me put two cubes here let's say this one costs three we'll move these and this costs four. Okay, so when a stock card, like the first stock card, let me get uh, a gray cube to represent what I want it to. What I want it to. Okay, what I'm going to say, and this is probably going to be horrible, but a purple, purple stock card is when it's played you get a cube equal to the stock card when the first stock card is put out which tells the location it'll have two so if we're looking at these are going to be the first stock cards that are available they're going to be in the general supply so the players have their own supply they're going to draw cards from but they'll also have one of these cards available in the middle these cards show where the how the card how the uh, company should start this one shows that there should be a cube on one and two that's how the starting how that's how it would look for this card to start on the company charter I don't know what to call it company card we'll call it a charter just to have something to call it that same charter in this case would look like this and that same charter in this case would look like this so a stock has to be bought to have the ability to expand and we're basically giving them a sp an expand action normally they would play a stock card it gives them options so let's say I played a stock one more stock card so this is the card that was in the offer I bought this card. well you don't even have to buy the card and this is the way the company looks then I play a blue stock card the first time I play it I can add a cube I decide where I want the cube to go so let's say I put it towards 
there so that also means that I can put it towards a vehicle and it not uh, the vehicle not be purchased yet but anyway we'll have to figure out if that's a hang up it probably is but we'll see um, so right now uh, you know I played a stock card then boom I decided to give it a contract in order for that contract to come out so we would um, actually need to place it so what we're looking at is let's make this a white card so that I can do some transparency stuff just for the sake of play and we'll make that background we'll go purple 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 cool and then let me make sure these are stuck cool take these out here we'll put we're gonna put a transparency here so we're basically gonna play white and then we're gonna change the opacity make it transparent and we'll do the same over here over how that way you know when a like this be on the top so that says you know we're playing the game this contract is gone you know a contract was there you know the contracts available if it's on the board and there is a chingadera a uh, cube next to it let's see now let's go ahead and use these no nope. let's go ahead and use these oh, there's one of these that doesn't have a okay cool no I was hoping I thought I knew I've made these okay cool this one so let's make these I would be doing this in TTS, uh, Tabletop Simulator, but my Tabletop Simulator is screwed up. I need to make a ticket on uh, the problems with it. I'm not able to upload images at the moment, and that does not allow me to make games. It really blows, so I'm having to do everything in Illustrator and I'll probably have to test an illustrator unless I can find a way to upload it. I've tried just about everything, you know, to reinstall uh, different networks. I've got a laptop, so I'm going to try to upload from the laptop and see if it's an account ish level issue or this computer type issue. That's the next thing. Uh, let's make these red. Red. Actually, let's make them purple. My bad. My bad, bro. Cool. And then let's go ahead and change this gradient to where it's purple so it looks nice and pretty. Okay. We'll add purple there. Purple there. We'll copy that swatch and let's go ahead and make our tokens look nice and flowery okay I'm gonna save a copy of these over here I'm gonna create outlines with the font meaning the fonts are objects now and not fonts I'm grouping these together. I want to bring them to the top. I should probably put them in a layer. I should have like a game piece layer and a bottom layer, but uh, it's just too much to deal with. I'm not used. To, I don't usually do that. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's the tokens. I should probably give them more room. 
Oh, wrong one. I was like, why doesn't this thing have a transparency? Because it's this one. Sweet. Sweet. I know I don't have to do any of this, but I just do it. Just visually, it helps me. Okay, so that's what a company card looks like so far. Um, hmm. We'll go ahead and make the different color ones. Oops. I know I make a lot of copies of stuff. It's just I'm so paranoid of losing stuff. Speaking of a paranoia, let's save that file. Hopefully. Don't fail me. Please save. Hmm. I don't like the amount of time it's taking. Well. While it's saving. Mm, this isn't good at all. Is the file that huge? Can't be. It cannot be. I don't know it's taking so long. Huh. Well, at least I have video to prove that I've done it, and then I can go back and and redraw it. Because I've seen it and do a better job of it. Okay, this is scary not doing anything hmm my whole computer's acting weird I hope it's still streaming What are you doing, computer? It's not responding. Suck. I don't want to have to redo all this stuff. Okay, so while it's trying to save, we can talk about what other things do the companies need to do. Now, the companies are available to everybody. Um, when a stock is played... It can al it allows players to add cubes, which expands the company. Uh, different levels. Ah, so the cards themselves. So this is actually has me thinking. So the cards themselves, when like a. When a new stock card is played, it can have some crazy thing talking about like adjacencies and stuff. So, we can always add cubes. Now, expanding a card, I mean, expanding a company is doing, is taking it off of the board and putting, I mean, taking it off the card, the charter, and putting it onto the game board or the road or whatever. I need a word for adding the cubes. Uh, acquiring cubes, acquisition cubes. So you place like an acquisition cube. Eh, it seems a little wordy for what it is. Come on. I'm going to push control period, which is supposed to stop the save. And then hopefully. Hopefully this whole computer doesn't crash. I really don't want to lose what I've done so far. Panic, panic. I need a panic button. Hmm. This is acting funky. Very funky. I'm giving it a few more minutes and then we'll really try to figure out what we need to do. Um. Okay, so. 
stock cards are the only card that will allow you to manipulate the charter. When you play a stock card, it gives you a cube onto it, it expands the company because it's an investment cube so we'll call them investment cubes you'll add investment cubes investment cubes are only added to the charter um, when you do the expand those investments actually become uh, objects that will be on the table person who plays the expand has that ability the stock card not the initial stock cards that come out but later stock cards allow um, and a, a stock like uh, like a added acquisition an acquisition an acquisition cube and uh, expand action together maybe um oh, I saw it move a little bit, I think. My eyes could be playing tricks on me. I think it's trying to save. I think it's moving a little bit. I don't know. Could be just my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay, so I'm still giving it time. Okay, so anyway, it's brainstorming session. I don't need necessarily to build stuff as I do it, it just makes it easier. Um So these stock cards need to have a price because the players can purchase the cards instead of the cards from their own offer. I'm thinking the cards should be more expensive than their regular cards. Uh, too much for them to be able to buy two stock. Maybe too much for each. Uh, so much that the player can only buy one. There we go. So each stock card should cost six bucks. So when they buy a stock card for six dollars and they have four dollars left, that also limits the rest of what they're able to buy because cards usually cost three dollars. At the beginning of the game, they'll start with three slots. Because they start with three slots, and they have ten dollars they're spending three dollars a card they usually have one dollar to flush their row and get another set of three cards but they could spend you know six bucks on a card on one of these stock cards and you know buy um, one card from the row and flush twice which gives them a pretty good ability to pick the right card that they want so we need to figure out how to rock paper scissors that meaning uh, when a player picks one of these stock cards as they're opening the cards and another card that whatever other card they picked and that one is going to be extremely powerful but there has to be a way to that stops it from being great the way the stock cards work is besides expanding, uh, not expanding, besides adding these uh, investment cubes, it also will um, give you the passive ability that if this vehicle scores during the rounds, you will make points. So it's a passive way for a player to make points. This is not good, and I don't want to have to redo this all. I don't know what I what did I really do though. I don't know if I did much. I'll have to look back at the video. I think I'm gonna have to force crash this thing, and we'll have to reset this thing up. Okay, so let's see. Da -da -da. We're going to force quit Illustrator. Not happy about. And then we'll restart Illustrator. Here goes Illustrator.
by the way I don't mind if you have the key it's okay because Illustrator is no longer supported so it doesn't matter okay so we're a little ways back uh, I don't remember what I did with these cards oh I wrote the word stock on them and I was working on these companies and I made a purple company let me do this real quick and then we'll go back and figure out the rest do, do, do. that's not a good one I need one that has all the chingaderas like that one like that and then we'll add contracts and I don't know if this makes any sense but they're the contracts are arbitrary it's an arbitrary number at this point we'll find out what the ideal number of contracts need to be later and I'm also saying that so that um, later on it doesn't end up being in the game like oh it's seven contracts why is there seven contracts? Oh, just because he arbitrarily threw the number in seven and it worked? No, it's something we'll have to uh, play test and fix. How many contracts should they be? Should they all cost one acquisition cube? Should they cost, should, you know, some contracts cost more as the game prolongs? Oops, so we'll do that. We'll do that. We're gonna make this white again. Make this red. Oh, that's not red. So that we know it's the red player, not that we don't already know that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna move these. This is four, so one, two, three, four. And this will be three. And make them look somewhat okay. This is two. There we go. That's what it sort of looks like for a company. Oh, and then we wanted to we'll do this. We'll do the transparency over so that you'll know that it's like a it's a placeholder for the pieces. <laughs> wrong thing transparency transparency we'll do 70 percent ish and we'll do that here and then we'll put our contracts on the top yes yeah, all right so we can put more um, like it could be harder to get these bottom contracts we'll see actually the one of these should be per contract you know what I'm doing okay so we've got trucks we've got contracts let's move the contracts over over there cool and let's try saving it again but we're gonna try to do a save as uh, no we're not we'll do it this way file save as and we'll just add another two to the naming convention and hope that it actually saves boom that was easy not like that horrible thing that happened a while ago. Um, we need one of these. I think the three was the one that we used. We'll go ahead and make our tokens real quick so that we don't forget. Let's see. Token time. I think I need seven tokens for the seven cars. It's three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. We'll save a copy just to save it. I'm always saving copies of stuff. It's a big mess. But I'll make another file that has everything in it clean. This is kind of like a sketchboard. It's kind of like if, uh, if you had two chalkboards and one of them you wrote all your brainstorming ideas on that chalkboard and the other one you actually presented like a scratch paper I guess like back in the day okay so the other thing that I wanted to look at is how these companies start in comparison to these stock cards I'm gonna have a copy hall. Here's the cards. Here's the thing. Let's look at a block. Let's look at. We'll grab one of these blocks and we'll kind of play with it. Okay. Let's say everybody started on the same block. We have one block and. Yeah, all cars could fit on this block. That's interesting. Three and four. So for an arbitrary rule, actually what I shouldn't, I shouldn't make copies. I'll just, here's what I'll, I want this like that. So make another copy. We'll play with this one. Okay, he gets on there. Four gets on there. And the three gets on there. Okay, so let's say these are three different colors. Just for the sake of argument, these are three different ones. Okay? So here's the starting block. For an arbitrary rule, we'll say... It's kind of like a thought experiment. We'll say... That we'll have a number of cubes equal to the number of players. plus one. So we have three cubes. Remember that uh, this stock card will, that has the three also has okay so instead of doing this let's make another copy. Okay so we'll say we'll just say that this is the blue company and this will be the purple company. just not to do our head in completely make that oops make that blue make that purples screw with that and make it purples make that oops make that blue oops in lots of oops we'll change this stock card we'll change the gradient on it we'll make a new gradient a poo gradient okay and in this gradient we'll do the purples so now we can we need one of these that is purple. Oh, I didn't fix the gradient to where it's saved. New poo gradient. Purple poo gradient. <sighs> okay, so all that work for that little bit of mess. Okay. So if we put the correct colors, oops. those this is just an arbitrary start so let's say it just happened to be these cards that come out ah okay the problem's going to be when the, st when the start stock card when everybody has 
this card, the one, the one two card. That's going to be the problem. So we need to start with at least two blocks. So let's say we start with those two blocks. Now we've got to figure out the rules. In those two blocks, one cube per block or one cube per person uh, what I'm talking about is a cube that will start out on the top of the building as something that needs to be delivered I need to find out how many does it need to have a does it need to be plentiful so that everybody has a chance that's the case we won't have a refill unless players agree fill so if everybody had that huh. I'm coming up with some really interesting problems already the contract would be like that and that means nobody could take that purple cube but we're gonna start without that purple cube that means if you were also if you weren't the purple player you would probably take another cube and leave the contract so that you could claim other cubes for that nobody else could get so that would be the way to do it okay so Hmm, let's say only four start off. That would allow each truck to be able to, if they were all to, to be able to um, have cubes. Mm, I kind of want to say everybody has cubes. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I go. There's cubes on it. During the first rounds, it won't be a problem. It'll be a problem during the second rounds. card types load move stock and expand the expand allows the expand mm, load move might be one card that says load and move So you could load and move, or double move, or double load. Or is that a problem? If you play the move card, hmm. I might be getting into the weeds here. I like the idea, okay, so that we have to start off with two city blocks those two city blocks have a number of cubes that gets that start on it what if it was limited so let me do that thought experiment it's not really a thought experiment I guess I'm physically doing it in in a computer program so let's say Hmm. That there was a limited amount of cubes, let's say two cubes per thing. That gives the advantage to this card because they already have one that's loaded. That might be too big of an advantage. So we'll start with each city block starts with all its cubes on there. Okay? Because of the way the cards work, 
move. Uh, I'm coming up with some interesting problems. When it comes to this expand, stock, load, and move. Problems that I'm going to have to think about on my own. Probably, I'm probably going to stop real soon and then start playing Backpack Hero on the next thing. Because I seem to be late. I was late to this thing, but mm, I think I've come up with some pretty cool stuff. I've got to figure out what to do about the starting actions. I really need to get TTS working. So that's going to be the project. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have TTS working. If I don't, hopefully I have an alternative method to figure out how to test some stuff. If not, we'll just make more cards and, and talk about me talk out loud and build the company charters start labeling things and move forward anyway so I'm gonna stop the stream there because I started late and start playing Backpack Hero to chill out for some for some time maybe while I'm playing Backpack Hero I can defocus refocus alright uh, thanks for anyone who checks this out and please follow me because I have no followers I have one follow the most special follower Sarah I have as a follower but other than that I'm all alone all right so see y'all later